Dear friends, we are discussing about patriotic poem, Africa, written by Negritude poet David Diop. At first, we discuss about the poet of the poem, David Diop. David Mandesi Diop was a revolutionary African poet, but he born in France. He was born in the place called Bordeaux a parent of West African descent. David Diop lived in France throughout his childhood and visited Africa only in 1950s at the age of 23. Mainly, his poems highlighted the problems of Africa brought about by colonialism and gave a mes message to Africans to bring about changes and freedom. Diop frequently used colloquial and spoken praising pattern with a rhythmic repetition. Mainly his poems was known for his involvement in the Negritude movement in France. And uh, what is Negritude movement? It means Negritude movement is a movement started by black writers and artists protesting against. French colonialism and its effect on African culture and values. He was called as a negative poet. Okay. Then his views and feelings were published in Prisons African and his book of poem Coupes de Pilon, which was published in 1956. The poet heard about Africa from his grandmother's songs. The poet described a clear image of history of African colonialism and strength of African people. The poet later had an opportunity to contribute to the development of Africa in his adulthood. He became teacher and principal in secondary school at Kindia. He and his wife died in a plane crash in 1960 at the age of 33. Now we can discuss about the poem. It is a patriotic poem that visualizes the bitter taste of liberty. The poem Africa being a prominent in Diop's poetry collection represents the philosophy of the Negritude movement. Poem Africa, it was originally written in French language, later translated to English. This poem is a reminiscence or remembering about Africa a land about which the poet heard from his grandmother's song. He paints a vivid or a realistic picture of the history of African colonialism and the strength of African people. Now we can start the poem and discuss about it. Look at the first line of the poem, Africa, my Africa. In the first line suggests us that Poet feels proud and tells my Africa. This line shows he is also from Africa. Look at the second line of the poem. Africa of proud warriors in ancestral savannas. Here poet use the word proud which means feeling greatly honored and having dignity, respect for oneself indicates peaceful coexistence and satisfaction in Africa. Another word, warrior, suggests courage of the black men, even though they were slave and colonization period. So he feels proud because of his ancestors were great soldiers. Look at the next line. Africa of whom my grandmother sings on the banks of the distant river. Here we come to know that poet's grandmother used to sing about Africa and great warriors of the Savanna along the length of river. Savanna means grassland. So here we come to know that through the grandmother's song, poet came to know about Africa. Look at the next line. I have never known you, but your blood flows in my veins. So it means poet never saw Africa when he was young because he lived in France. He came to know about it 
by his grandmother's song. We can identify in the praise, your blood flow in my veins. It describes he is an African's descent, means origin or parentage, and shows how much Africa is a part of him. In addition, we come to know how much he loves his country and its people. Africa, all he tells that in Abu lines, he is also a part of Africa as African blood flows in his body. Look at the next lines of the poem. You have beautiful black blood that irrigates the fields. The blood of your sweat the sweat of your work, the work of your slavery, the slavery of your children. Africa, tell me Africa, is this you, this back that is bent? These lines express that poet is angry and accusatory on people who misused his ancestors' work. Africans were treated and dehumanized and made them to work in the white men's plantation. In the line, blood that irrigates the field, it supports this. In agricultural expression, irrigation means to supply land or crops with water. But the poet's change of water to blood, it suggests the inhuman treatment and humiliation suffered by the black under slavery and colonialism. We need to know about what is colonialism. It means when a powerful country rules a weaker one and establishes its own trade and society there. For example, British rule in India and African countries ruled by European countries. Totally, poet tells that his people worked so hard and they will get a profit from field. Poet David Duke stresses that it is the blood and sweat of his people which is irrigating the fields for the benefit of other people. But this profit was taken by colonialism who ruled them, who exploited the black people and used them as a slaves to profit from their hard labor. Poet expressed that profit from the fields is because of his ancestors and their children hard work. Now look at the next line. Africa, tell me Africa, is this you, this bag that is bent? Here the poet is sad and angry. He asks Africans that is it them who will bend their backs in front of others? Look at the next line. This back that breaks under the weight of humiliation. This back trembling with the red scars and saying yes to the whip under the midday sun. In these lines, poet was angry, sad, desperate at the humiliation and torture suffered by African people. Especially red scars reference to the torture and humiliation suffered by the Africans as, as a slaves in the hands of colonialists. Next, your back is filled with beaten marks and you say yes to their leather belt beating under the sun and you tolerate all humiliations. He asks such questions to himself. Go to the next line. But a gray voice answers me. It means poet hears someone answering all his questions. That unknown voice tells him that Impatuous son, the tree young and strong, that tree there, in splendid loneliness amidst white and faded flowers, that is Africa, your Africa. In the Abu lines, grey voice answering very proudly about his countrymen's determination and strength. 
The tree young and strong represents the young generation of Africans, and also it shows that strength of Africans. And they fight alone, but they are strong and unbent. They will achieve the freedom and liberty without anyone help. That is your Africa. It shows the confidence of the grey voice. Look at the last three lines. That grows again patiently and obstinately, and its fruit gradually acquires the bitter taste of liberty. Here, the word that refers to Africa, which was a colony of European country. It grew with utmost patience and persistent. Bitter taste of liberty means that Africa will achieve the freedom and liberty. They were no matter how bitter the taste in getting it. Remarkably, bitter taste is whatever the difficulty comes, they were ready to face it. It grows patiently and continuously. means africans will fight patiently and one day they will gain the freedom we will fight for our freedom no matter how difficult it is the poet express like this way dio realizes that freedom will not be acquired by a silver plates but it will have to be fought for so that the black people will eventually Acquire the bitter taste of liberty in the end. Though the poet is optimistic about the African future, he believes that despite the suffering, Africa still has a bright future. In conclusion, the poet captures a panoramic or a complete overview of the history of Africa. Now we have an eye on poetic. device figure of speech used in the poem first one you are beautiful black blood that irrigates the field it is a personification you know that in personification lifeless objects or abstract ideas spoken of as having life here in the above you are beautiful black blood that irrigates the field actually irrigating is a human action that was poetically compared with a black blood second one i have never known you but your blood flows in my veins it is also a personification third one this back trembling with a red scars and saying yes to the whip under the midday sun it is also a personification fourth one your beautiful black blood that irrigates the field it is a alliteration alliteration is the repetition of a speech sound in sequence of words usually the term is applied only to consonants and only when the recurrent sound begins a word or a stressed syllable within the word here in the above line repetition of the sound b makes it alliteration is this you this back that is bent it is also alliteration here in the line A repetition of sound T makes it alliterative. By remembering the quote of Nelson Mandela, we can sum up: "I dream of an Africa which is in peace with itself." Thank you.